it's time for Mass with Mr. Thomas. Hey, hey, here we go. Chapter 3, lesson number 13. Another lesson on integration using partial fractions. But this time we are looking at improper rational functions. And as we all know, what do you use when you have an improper rational function that you want to express in partial fractions? What do you have to use first? You got it. Algebraic long division. Brilliant. So before integrating an improper rational function, we first have to use algebraic long division. And we do that to express the function as the sum of a polynomial and a proper rational function. So let's take this example. First thing that we need to do then is we're looking at it and we're looking at the degree of the numerator. Remember the degree is the highest power. Highest power in the numerator is two. Highest power in the denominator is one. So the degree of the numerator is higher than that of the denominator. So we have to use algebraic long division. And for algebraic long division, who's that famous guy that we think of? No, it's not Adam Lyne. Dracula, yes, we think of Dracula. And we think Dracula must suck blood. Dracula divide. Must multiply. Suck, subtract. Blood, begin again. So, we're wanting to divide x squared plus 4, x plus 2. That's what we want to divide, so that goes under our dividing step. We're dividing it by x plus 1, so that goes to the left of the dividing step. From there, Dracula, divide. So you're dividing the first term. So x squared divided by x gives you x. So write that above the x up here. Must, multiply. So you're multiplying x times x gives you x squared. x times 1 gives you 1x. So keep everything in line. From there, after you have written your two lines, you will then suck. So you subtract. So x squared, take away x squared. Those terms should always cancel out. If they don't, you have made a mistake. So 4x take away x will give you 3x. And 2 take away 0 will give you 2. After that, the degree of this remainder here is the same as what we are dividing it by. So we have to begin again. You just keep on going. So first terms again, 3x divided by first term x gives you positive 3. Good, so we write that at the top. After that, you multiply. Dracula must, must multiply. So 3 times x gives you 3x. 3 times 1 gives you 3. From there, after you've got the two lines, draw a line underneath and you s subtract. So 3x take away 3x. Again, they should always cancel. 2 take away 3 is negative 1. So we now have a remainder and you can see that the degree is less than that of the divisor, so we can stop. Which means then that if we write this as a polynomial and a proper rational function, well, the polynomial is just what the answer is. The answer up here is x plus 3, so that will be your polynomial. What we are left with, well, remember this down here is your remainder. So we have a remainder of negative 1. Just putting the negative to the front. And we're dividing by x plus 1. That is not changing, so it's the remainder divided by the x plus 1. So we have now written this as a polynomial and a proper rational function. From there, we can now integrate it. And to integrate it, what we do is we replace this fraction here with x plus 3 take away 1 over x plus 1. So we will end up with, that becomes just what we had, the polynomial and the proper rational function. After that, to integrate, well, integrating x, that's dead easy. Add 1 to the power, divide by the power. Integrate 3, that's dead easy as well. Take away, integrate 1 over x plus 1. Well, we're thinking back to this rule that we learned about a few lessons ago. If we have 1 over ax plus b, it becomes ln ax plus b. Just remember to divide by the derivative. So here, you'd have 1 over x plus 1, so that goes to ln, and remember your modulus signs. So you need the modulus of x plus 1. The derivative here, differentiate x plus 1, you get 1, so we divide by 1, so you don't even need to write that. Just make sure you've got your plus C on the end. Example four, express 
x over x squared take away 1 in partial fractions and hence find the integral of x cubed over x squared take away 1. So the first thing we're doing is we're taking this here and we want to write it in partial fractions. How do we go about writing that in partial fractions? What would we be doing, Calissa? Perfect. You have to factorise the denominator. We're needing our distinct linear factors. After that then, Calissa, if you factorise x squared take away 1, perfect, just difference of two squares. So x take away 1 would be x plus 1, x take away 1. Brilliant. So we can now say that x over x squared take away 1 is the same as x over x plus 1, x take away 1. And because we have distinct linear factors, we can say that will be a over x plus 1 plus b over x take away 1. If you get it back to front, it makes no difference. You should still get the same answer. But I'm putting the a with the x plus 1 and b with x minus 1. From there to add fractions, well, we need the same denominator. You can see a is over x plus 1. We're needing the x take away 1. So multiply the numerator and denominator by x take away 1. b is over x take away 1, but we're missing this x plus 1. So multiply the numerator and denominator by x plus 1. After that, the denominators are the same. Woo! High five. So add the numerators. So we'll have a bracket x take away 1 plus b bracket x plus 1. And then from there, if you look, well, on the left-hand side, you've got x over x plus 1, x take 1. And you've got this over x plus 1, x take 1. The denominators are the same, which means the numerators will also be equal, which means we can cancel the denominators and we'd be left with x equals a bracket x take away 1 plus b bracket x plus 1. Now to find the values of a and b. And to find these values of a and b, you want to choose a value of x. But you want to choose a value of x so you will eliminate either a or b. Let's eliminate this first of all. So in order to get 0, a, well, I need 0 here. And to get 0, x would equal 1. So let x equal 1. Therefore, right the way along, and have 1 equals... That becomes 0 times a, which would disappear, and it would leave me with 1 add 1, which is 2. So I'd have 2b, or not 2b. So b would then be 1 half. To eliminate this part here, to eliminate b, I would need to multiply it by 0. And to get 0, x would be negative 1. So let x equal negative 1. Therefore, right the way along, I'd have negative 1 equals negative 1 take 1 is negative 2, so negative 2a. And again, I'd have 0b, so don't bother writing it. A then is going to be a half as well. Remember, we were writing this in its partial fractions, so we had x over x squared take away 1 was equal to this when you split up the denominator, and it was over a over x plus 1. We found the value of a. a was equal to 1 half, so you'd have a half over x plus 1. b was also a half, so you'd again have a half over x take away 1. But again, don't leave us that. Don't have fractions within fractions. Bring the 2 down to the bottom, so you'd have 1 over 2 bracket x plus 1 plus. And if you bring that 2 down as well, -dump, you would have 1 over 2 x take away 1. That's your answer for part A. Part B, hence find the integral of x cubed over x squared take away 1. So we want to integrate that. However, if you look at part A, we just had x over x squared take away 1. So we're not just going to sub in our answer for part A. And also, if you think about it, well, the degree of the numerator is 3. It's the highest power. But the denominator is 2. So the degree of the numerator is higher than the denominator. So what would we need to apply? Perfect. Algebraic long division. Good. You need to apply that first of all. So we are dividing x squared take away 1. We are dividing the x cubed by x squared take away 1. So x cubed is x cubed plus 0x squared plus 0x plus 0 divided by x cubed take away 1. And then you will think, right, well, to work your way through this, Dracula must suck blood. So D for Dracula, D for divide. So divide the first terms. So x cubed divided by x squared will give you x. After that, m for multiply. So you multiply x times x squared is x cubed. x times negative 1 is negative x. Again, keep everything in line. After that, two lines. So draw a line underneath and you subtract. So Dracula must suck. Subtract. So 
x cubed take away x cubed will cancel out, so you'd have zero. You've got zero x squared anyway, and you're taking away zero, so it's still zero x squared. And zero x take away negative x will become plus x, leaving you just with x. And obviously zero takes zero, zero. After that, the degree of this part here is less than that of the divisor, so we can stop. Which means then, that if we write this as a polynomial in the proper rational function, then the polynomial will be, well our answer here is x, and that will be the answer, that will be the polynomial. The remainder is down here, and it's a remainder of x, so that will be x over, and then we're dividing by x squared take away 1. So that there will be x squared take away 1. Which means then, if we integrate this, the x cubed over x squared take away 1, well really that will become the integral of this right hand side. It's the same as the integral of x plus x over x squared take away 1. Yes, I know, I can hear you shouting, you're exactly right, well done. You can take your answer for part A. Remember, we wrote this part as its partial fractions. And if you expressed it in its partial fractions, well, we can now sub it in here. So that's the same as the integral of x plus. And our answer for part A was 1 over 2 bracket x plus 1 plus 1 over 2 bracket x take away 1 just from part A. So we're just swapping that with what we got. And then to integrate that, well, what we do if we integrate x, that would go to x squared over 2 or a half x squared. Because we've got that half, well, a half is just going to come out to the front, and then you'd treat that as 1 over x plus 1. And remember, when it's 1 over x plus 1 and you integrate it, it'll go to ln, and then modulus signs x plus 1. Remember, whenever it's ln, you need your modulus signs. 1 half, again, take a half just to the front, so it'll be plus a half, and treat that as 1 over x take away 1, so that will go to ln modulus signs x take away 1. And on the end, you've obviously got your plus C. So that will be your answer. Try these questions, see how you get on. It is in the Unit 1 booklet, pages 71 and 72. Check your answers as you go. But here you're looking at improper rational functions and you're using algebraic fractions and partial fractions in order to integrate. Best of luck. Bye.